Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of the Fuji Guys and today we're going to do the unboxing and the initial setup for the XP80 digital camera. Uh, that's the latest in, in Fujifilm's fine picks uh, rugged style cameras. So please sit, enjoy. So without further ado, let's open up the box. Uh, so here I have the uh, the black and or the graphite green version of the 80. So the first thing you'll see in the box, of course, is the um, little instruction booklet and and whatnot. So I'm just gonna open this up. I feel like just tearing it. There we go. We'll just tear it open like that. And in this little box, of course, depending if you are a uh, Canadian or uh, or an American, uh, you'll get this little um, uh, this little insert, and on one side it will uh, talk about the Canadian warranty as well as how to contact the U.S. Uh, for their warranties as well. So depending on which market you're in, you'll um, you'll refer to the appropriate side, um, and then we also have you know the project product registration card here as well as the terms of the warranty. Uh, the little warranty booklet giving you all the uh, information in the different uh, languages and uh, for around the world and of course a basic little instruction manual in, in uh, the three languages English, French and in Spanish as well. Um, so further we'll dig in a little deeper. Uh, there is a little uh, Insert here to talk about the weather resistance just to make sure that you know that all your gaskets are clean when you close your battery door uh, Things like that. So the best care and practices. So this is just a quick information sheet um, That just shows you real quick, you know, watch your battery um, compartment to make sure that there's no debris on the uh, um, uh, On the on the uh, uh, seals or anything like that Of course we're talking about some condensation and and again just some best practices and things like that Close this up here, there we go. I'll just fold this up nicely. And there we go, like a map. All right, and so here we have the little strap. So this is just a little wrist strap. Uh, this just goes uh, to help uh, so you don't lose the camera. There we go. So there's the strap itself. And here we have the uh, AC adapter for the charger. So this is just a little dongle um, that just plugs into the wall. And then there's your USB port here um, to allow you to plug the USB cable in. And then it also comes. So now, depending on what market you're in, if you're in North America, yeah, you'll be getting this uh, particular adapter. But if you're in Europe or in Asia, you'll get the appropriate adapter uh, for your market. And then this just slides in just like this into the uh, back of this little adapter here to allow you to then plug that into the wall. And then it gives you your USB port for charging there. So that's to help you charge your battery. And then we have our USB cable here. It's about four feet, um, so it gives you a little bit of a uh, little bit of length to work with. And you'll use this to not only transfer your images, but you'll use this, of course, to charge the battery itself. There we go. And we'll just take apart this little twist tie here to show the full length of the cable. It's a pretty standard cable. It's a micro uh, USB, uh, USB 2 uh, uh, adapter. So very, very common uh, cable that you'll find. And of course that goes into either the USB port in your computer or of course into your uh, little adapter plug here as well. And of course we have the MP45S, so the little battery there. So the little uh, lithium ion battery, rechargeable battery. And of course we have the camera itself. So we have a little seal on the back here. This is just to make sure that the, the camera is new. Um, so when you do break the seal, you'll see that it'll actually go void. It's just to make sure that the camera you're getting is a new camera. So we'll take that out. There we go. And so here is the camera itself. Um, it has this little um, tag here that just shows you a bit about the sensor and shows you a little bit about the um, specs for the uh, the waterproof and the shockproof ability of the camera itself. We're just going to 
undo that just to get it out of the way because it's right at the battery door. So I'm just going to get that out of the way. There we go. And so we just open up the battery door. So to open up the battery door, it's real simple. You got to press the center button so that will release the lock mechanism so it doesn't open up in the underwater. Uh, so you press it, you release it, and then there we go. Um, so that's how you open the battery door. Um, and then you just insert the battery. Uh, now to insert the battery, we're just going to match up the, um, the poles here, the contacts to the bottom of the camera, obviously. And then we're just going to make sure that uh, this little orange stripe matches up with this little orange clip. And that'll make sure that you put the battery in properly. You can actually put it in backwards. It will go in, as you can see. So if it doesn't power on, just make sure that your battery is all lined up properly. And then beside the, the, um, the battery here, this is where we put the memory card. Um, so we, we would recommend a class 10 memory card, especially for HD video. Um, and there we go. So we just put the, the card facing the battery, just like that. And it's spring loaded. So you just press it to release it and press it to engage it. Um, and then once you're, uh, um, if you're charging your battery while we're here, I might as well show you. There's your USB port there and you can see it has like a little symbol um, for charging there. So you just plug this in into there to be able to charge it. Um, there are optional uh, rechargeable battery chargers as well, um, like external battery chargers as well. Um, so check with your dealer for, for any of those uh, battery charges. Uh, and then we'll just close up the battery door and you'll hear a click, just like that. So now we're all sealed up, we're ready to go. A little protective cover on your LCD. I'm not gonna take it off, I'm just gonna leave this one on for now. And then we just turn the camera on there. Once the camera turns on, it's gonna ask you right away, do you wanna set your time and date? Uh, so you go left and right to set your, your date. Um, and up and down to select your different options, so the, the actual number itself, and then uh, your time as well. So go, and now to change it from AM to PM, you actually have to go all the way around the clock. So there are 12 PM, one, two, three, four, let's say, and let's do uh, 440, so we go all the way down to 40, and we are there. And then once you're done and you've set it all up, you hit the menu OK button. Now it's going to give you a little bit of a reminder on how to open uh, to ensure that the battery chamber is completely closed. And then we hit menu OK. Oh, nope, it says back actually. I should be paying attention. There we go. And now we're ready to take a picture. So, um, so it's got the SR Auto. We could see here it's already kicked in into the SR Auto mode. I'm just going to take a picture here of my, of my, uh, my boxes. So there we go gives you a little bit of a preview. You play back the image by hitting the playback button. So there's the image there. Uh, and then if you want to um, delete the image because oh, I, I didn't want that picture, the picture is no good, or, or uh, for whatever reason you missed your shot, you got the little uh, garbage can there. You just press the top and it asks you, do you want to uh, delete a frame or selected frames if you want to select a few or all the frames. So I'm just going to delete, delete the frame. So thank you for watching. If you have any other uh, questions or any comments, certainly post them up in the comments below. And uh, we certainly encourage you, of course, to, uh, to subscribe and to follow us on Twitter, at the Fuji Guys.